Hey Josh here and in this video I want to show you inside our new app Igloo and how easy it is to create marketing pages for your sales funnels and any type of website page you need for your website. So first of all I want to show you inside our settings panel where you can go through and integrate directly with WordPress. So simply download and install the plugin over here and then you can go through and activate it using your API key and begin importing pages with one click into WordPress. You can also use different types of autoresponders that we've integrated with and we're integrating with other ones as well, as well as different marketing apps like Usine. So let's go through to the homepage and let's go ahead and create our first campaign. So I'm going to call this one Josh's Demo and click on Create. Now what we can do is begin adding pages to our campaign. So you can add opt-in pages, landing pages, webinar pages, upsell pages, any type of marketing page you need. So first of all, I'm going to select this landing page for my sales page for my website and call this one landing page. I also want to get a JV page so that I can get affiliates on board for my launch. So I'm going to select this one over here and I'll just adjust that to the top. What I also want to do is create a pre-launch campaign. So I'm going to select this pre-launch uh, template over here and simply call this one pre-launch. And I'll just drag this on top. And I also want to have some upsell pages for my funnel. So I'm going to select this preview and I'll show you exactly what it looks like for this one over here. So we've got really nice looking done for you templates that you can select and begin using um, in your pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one, add it to my campaign and say upsell two, well, upsell one, sorry. Okay, cool. You can also duplicate your pages. So if you were to upsell page, you can go through and make a second one and call this one upsell two. And it's that easy to go through and begin creating marketing pages for your sales funnels. Okay, cool. What you can also do is create contests for your app. So I'm going to go through and create a new contest and call this one pre-launch, like that. And you can go through and follow along with these simple settings, creating your campaign for your uh, contest. And you can also add a YouTube video over here. So I'm going to go through and get one right now. Okay, so I'm going to go through and select this URL and just simply paste it in here and select that I want it to be on autoplay. And I'll save these changes. Okay, cool. So let's go back over to my campaign over here and basically begin editing this upsell page I want to show you inside the Igloo editor. Okay great, so this is the Igloo editor and it's super simple to edit. So for example you want to customize an image or a logo, you simply double click on it and you can go through and upload your own image like this. Okay, I can go through and click on the style settings and simply drag this over like that and adjust the size. I can add an animation onto it simply by selecting the animations and simply selecting one of these animations. Okay. You can also adjust the text by simply double clicking on it and then simply selecting or typing any text you want over here. Okay, and just correcting that. Um, you can adjust the text size, fonts, colors, all those kind of things directly over here on the right hand panel, okay? So let's just adjust that slightly. Maybe we want to make this color a little bit, maybe yellow or something like that. We can go through and adjust that like that. And that's looking quite good already, okay? What we can also do is add on different elements directly onto our page. So we can add on text, headlines, images, videos, buttons, icons, social icons, timers, navigation bars, and all these other types of elements. And we're adding in extra elements also into this as well. So maybe for this one, we want to have a countdown timer to add some urgency to this discount promotion. So I can simply go through and select a preset style. So we've got different types of presets that you can select. And maybe for this one, I'm going to go select a gradient color. Okay, so I'm going to select that one over there. I'm going to go to the background and I'll adjust this, um, these colors. So we can select a darker color maybe. We can go through and change the colors over here like that. Or maybe we want to go through and add an image on here. So I'm going to select an animated image, something like this maybe. And I can instantly have a really nice looking countdown timer. I might go grab this one over here for a little bit of fun. And it looks pretty cool like that. And I'm going to go through and select a different color like navy blue. And I'm going to make the text font Oswald and make it also a bit bolder so that you can see it a bit better make the text size a bit bigger okay cool maybe we want to add a text shadow onto this as well so that you can see it a bit better so i'm going to go through and just add two over here and maybe 10 for this and i'm going to make this white so that it kind of glows a little bit in the background okay and maybe make it three like that and already you can see the numbers really really clearly now on this countdown timer so what i'm going to do to the labels i'm going to click on there and make this white and i'm going to adjust it the height over here, make the text size a little bit smaller, and maybe I'll select Oswald for this one as well. 
and it's that easy to go through and set up your countdown timers. You can set different dates, so let's say you want to make it end on the 15th. It's got 32 days now till this promotion ends, okay? Cool, so what we can also do is begin building out our pages using blocks, building blocks. So if you want to build one from scratch, you can simply go through and add a section. What you can then do is go through and select a layout for your section, so different rows. So let's say you want to have a three column row, and then we can begin adding elements directly onto our row. So for this example, I'm going to go through and add an image over here, like a features block, and I'll select some different types of images. I can go through and customize the size over here, make it a little bit bigger, smaller, sorry, and then just duplicate that drag and drop that, double click on it, and then simply select a different one. Whoops, let's go back over here, and I'll duplicate that again. And I'll double click on that, and again I'll select maybe this one over here. And it's that easy to go through and begin customizing everything on your page. Now maybe you like this section over here that you just created, or maybe this even this uh, video sales letter section up here. What we could do is go through and duplicate that, like or simply save the contents on this page as uh, copy the rows over here. And what we can do then is go through and create a new uh, section and then simply click over here and go to other commands, paste rows on top like that. And then you can see we've copied all this content on this section and pasted it down here to save us a lot of time. And we can go through and adjust the colors. So let's say we want to have a navy blue background. And this is great, you know, for really saving time when building out your pages. Okay, great. So that's how easy it is to go through and customize your pages directly inside Igloo. What I'm going to do now is click out of here and I'm going to go to my pre-launch page and what I'm going to do is connect up a contest directly with uh, this pre-launch. So what I could do is simply add on e any email form. This one's already got an email form on it so what I need to do is simply click on it, click on style, go over to my uh, settings over here and simply connect up with one of my contests. So I'm going to select pre-launch over here, click on save and then click on preview. So now if I go through and test this by simply adding in a dummy email address, let's say josh at igloo.com, I can go through and select download my free guide. Thanks for signing up for our free launch. And instantly we have a video telling them about the contest that they can use. Now what they can do is simply copy the unique referral link and basically post it on different social networks and this is going to help you to get your word out about your launch and create a viral loop of unending traffic. Okay. Once, they, once they've gone ahead and actually um, signed up, what you'll see is this little icon at the bottom of the page and when they check back to this page, they can see their stats and how many points they have for referrals and what their rank is on the leaderboard. And they can also go through and share the link again on social networks. So currently, the link hasn't been shared so they've got no points and they're not actually on the leaderboard. So that's how you can easily go through and set up these viral contests directly inside of Igloo, simply by you know, creating a contest and adding it directly to an email opt-in form. Okay, so that's how easy it is to go through, set up marketing pages directly with Igloo. You can add on any type of element. You can customize it exactly how you like. Maybe we want to go through and just delete this one actually. And we want to add a buy button or something like that on our page. So maybe we have a button um, down here. And we can go through and customize the padding. So let's maybe make it a little bit wider. Maybe we want to make it a little bit higher or even a little bit lower like that. We can add an icon directly onto our button. So maybe we want to have something like that. We can adjust the size by simply selecting custom. And we can also add some cards directly underneath our button. So maybe we want to have some buy cards like that, credit cards like that, and uh, simply adjust it like that. We can adjust the action that it takes. So either it scro scrolls to a section or opens a URL or an image pop-up. With this one, I'm going to select scroll to a section. And what I'm going to do is um, select this section over here and just type top like this so I know what section it is. And if I go back over here, I go to my settings, I can select that section over there and click on save. What I'm going to do is just drag this a little bit lower. I might actually quickly create a new column over here, or a new section down here and drag this to the bottom like that for this preview. Okay, so let's go click on save, click on preview. And if we go down to the bottom, we can see we click on here and it scrolls directly up to the top of the page. So that's how yeah, easy it is to create pages within Igloo, set up your sales funnels, and begin marketing your products inside our app Igloo, okay? Now one thing that you do need to know is that our pages aren't hosted on this app, so you'll need to host them either on your website or your WordPress blog, um, but Igloo gives you everything you need to create your marketing pages and all the pages for your funnels uh, within this app. So thanks again for watching this video. I know you're gonna love Igloo, and I'll see you guys in the inside.